another group of notes, and we're getting a little bit more difficult and ob obscure, but I think you'll still be all right. Here we go. Well, it must be one of the Japan solos. That's exactly uh, what it is. I don't, I don't know which it's part. not even a song. It's just a, a moment. Uh, somebody showed me that lick. I can't. It wasn't. I didn't invent that one. I guess it. It might have been. Kurt James might have showed that to me. Shout out to Kurt James. Yeah, Kurt, Kurt James. He was. Um, I think like right after Ingve left Steeler. Kurt might have been in Steeler for a while. Uh, he was in Black Sheep after I, or even before or after I was in it, I can't remember. He was a really good guitar player. He was a real, real um, nice combination of like Hendrix kind of stuff and, uh, and Yngwie. Real, real, uh, real, real good instincts. And, you know, we, we, I don't think he was like really uh, methodical or wasn't, this, wasn't that like a metronome guy. He was just like Sat down and well, I can do this, and, and you know he, he was. He actually kind of got me back into Hendrix too, because as, as much of an Ingve guy as he was, um, he gave me a cassette of him doing all Hendrix songs, and he was doing Third Son from the Sun, and he he was always like had some old strap with whammy. And he's doing, and I. And I you know, when I heard him do it, suddenly all the guitar parts kind of made sense to me. And he sounded killer. And he used to do stuff like light his guitar on fire. And so I, I, I was, I, I hung out with Kurt a lot, and I think. I think he was the one that showed me. I think I still have 